Hi, my name is Gabe Mansfield, and I am the Nursing Library Liaison at the University of Alabama. Today, I would like to talk to you about examining scholarly and popular sources and how to evaluate them. When distinguishing between scholarly and popular sources, there are several differences to consider. Scholarly sources are often peer-reviewed, meaning articles or other mediums undergo evaluation by experts in the field to ensure they fit within the existing literature. Other examples, such as conferences, theses and dissertations, government documents and reports, may not undergo peer review in the same manner. Popular sources, on the other hand, typically include websites, newspapers, blogs, and social media, to name a few. These are not peer-reviewed. If they are peer-reviewed, it is done in a much less strenuous way and not necessarily by experts. So what's the difference between the two? It depends on what you're looking for and how you plan to use the information. Scholarly sources, tailored for scholars and academia, usually contain specialized information. Due to the peer review process and evaluation by field experts, scholarly sources are generally considered more credible. However, popular sources can be useful for exploring modern trends or gaining insights from a non-peer reviewed perspective. In fields like nursing and many medical disciplines, emphasis is often placed on scholarly sources over popular ones. When examining any of these sources, it's crucial to take into account various factors, including the who, what, when, where, why, and how. These aspects can be categorized differently, addressing questions like who is responsible for the information. It's particularly significant to scrutinize the, author, the article's author, potential funding sources, and the author's institutional affiliation. Another question that can come up is, what are they saying and how does it compare to other sources? Comparing others' work with similar articles can be helpful to determine how in line a perspective in the topic can be. Along with that, looking at the article's citations can tell you a lot about where some of this information is coming from. One question when evaluating sources that might come up is, when was it written and is it considered too old or too new? This is a very relevant term in the medical field due to the changing nature of medicine and our knowledge of treatments. Typically, something published within the last five or ten years at the most is considered relevant. A pub publication that is too new may not come up often, but can be important to consider when looking at the history of a particular topic or if additional context can be provided. The final set of questions, such as, is the source peer-reviewed or subjected to any editing process, becomes crucial when assessing how these articles are utilized in ensuring their accuracy. The preceding question, delving into the types of sources used and where the information is gathered and its reliability was discussed earlier. This prompts us to consider the credibility of the information itself. Asking these questions involves reading laterally. When scanning a website or article, looking for keywords or author information and answers to the questions mentioned earlier. Open new tabs to seek additional context and perspectives and after analyzing the context laterally, looking at the article internally, considering its relevance to your research. In summary, popular and scholarly sources serve different purposes, but in an academic setting, scholarly sources are typically preferred due to their peer-reviewed nature, enhancing their credibility. When evaluating sources, read laterally and consider the five W's and H to determine credibility. If you have further questions, feel free to reach out to me via the Nursing Reference Guide or the Staff Directory. Have a great day!